In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a basic batch processing of images using an action in Photoshop. And so there's two ways to initiate batch processing. I'm going to do it from inside of Bridge, but you can also launch it from inside Photoshop. And when we get over to Photoshop, I'll show you where that's at. And so the first thing that I did was I created a folder and I put it on my desktop just because that's where I um, am going to go to find it. And inside of it, I put a series of images that I want to apply our orange and purple glow action to. And so I am navigating in Bridge, I have Adobe Bridge open, and I'm navigating till I'm inside the folder and I can see all the pictures. And at this point, I could select some or all of the pictures. If you want to apply the batch processing to all the pictures, you don't actually have to select them. It's just, just who I am as a person and I would like to select all of them. Uh, you can then initiate the batch process by going to the tools menu, choose Photoshop, and then batch. It will redirect you to Photoshop, and the batch processing dialog box will launch, and it will allow us to make some decisions. And so this dialog should look very similar to the one that you saw inside the slideshow. And so we're going to make sure that we choose the right action set, mine is saved under JC Custom Actions. The action is going to be the orange-purple glow. The source is bridge because that's how I initiated this. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I suppress the file open, di file open options dialogs and the color profile warnings. And then I'm going to choose a destination. And I'm going to choose a folder. And it's going to be the folder that my images are in. But I'm going to make a new folder inside that. And I'm going to say actions or whatever you want to call the folder. And I want it to go all inside here so that kind of the outside has all the originals and then inside I have a folder that has all the processed images. And then I recommend um, when you are applying the action to give your file a new name. And so I'm going to allow the document name to stay as is, whatever it happens to be. And then I'm going to change the next thing and I'm going to make it underscore orange purple glow. There we go. And then select OK. As soon as I select OK, it's going to open the images one at a time. It is going to go through the entire process of launching the image, applying the action, and then saving a copy of it. My computer is going a little slow in the save part. Every once in a while you'll have a prompt that you have to agree to. And because I didn't say to suppress the save dialogs, I'm going to have to choose save, and that's okay. It kind of lets me see all the images that I'm formatting. Once you're done, it will quit out of all of the documents and take you back to the beginning of Photoshop. And if we minimize everything, we can go inside that batch examples folder and you can see all the original images. And then there's an actions folder that has all of the images with the filter applied to it. I would like you to practice applying the filter that you created during this lecture to a series of images, maybe four or five or six or 300 if that's what you really would like to do. Um, when you're done, you can move on with the last part of the lecture. Um, before I jump out of the video, though, I do want to show you that you don't have to start the batch processing from Bridge, and you don't have to start it from a file. So in Photoshop, I have nothing open. If we go to the File menu, you can choose Automate and then Batch, and you'll get the same dialog box, so you can start from inside Photoshop if you want to.